This photo of the 58-year-old president with his daughters was taken last month. He's not been seen in public since. Government accounts of Mr. Chavez's health have been vague. Neither the president nor his ministers have said what type of cancer he has. We only know that he's made a lot of visits to Cuba for treatment. The vice president says Mr. Chavez is now being treated in Caracas. We can go there now and join CNN's Shasta Darlington. Shasta, what more can you add to what we're hearing? Well, you know, Zane, what was impressive about this announcement last night, which was read aloud live on national television, is just how brief and really how bleak it was. Uh, this was by far one of, of the most bleak reports that we've had, very terse, uh, using that same language that you mentioned. His, his situation is very delicate. This is a new and severe respiratory infection. Uh, on the other hand, for many Venezuelans, it just it doesn't come as a surprise. It's been almost three months since uh, Hugo Chavez disappeared from the public eye to undergo cancer surgery in Cuba. We've only seen those that one series of proof of life photos and his critics especially have stepped up demands to know exactly what his situation is. Is he still president? Is he still in command? And, and those voices have gotten louder in recent days to the point that even his supporters ha have come out publicly, publicly in many cases saying that it, it would help the situation uh, to know more details, to know exactly in what state he's in. Uh, and in some ways this seems to be preparing the, the way for many of his supporters to accept the fact that Hugo Chavez may not ever resume the presidency. He may not re recover enough to continue the presidency. That, of course, we don't know yet. Uh, but if that were to happen, as soon as it was declared that he was incapacitated uh, or even that he had died, they would call new elections. His vice president, of course, Nicolás Maduro, is, is the man that most people say is in line to succeed him, Zane. How smoothly has the country been running without him? Because Chavez equals Venezuela the way that he's been running it. Well, Zane, uh, Venezuelans in general, they do not want problems. They don't want violence. Uh, they don't want this to turn into a conflict. So you certainly have, again, his critics demanding to know what's really going on and his supporters saying, we'll be with him forever. But there is a power vacuum. Uh, there is the question of who's making decisions and maybe they should be making them faster. Uh, as you know, the, the currency was recently devalued and there are a lot of hardcore Chavez supporters who, who are even asking, well, if the economy is doing so well, why did that happen? There's a problem with inflation. Uh, there's a problem with uh, some scarcity of goods on supermarket shelves. Uh, so people definitely want to know who's in charge and, and when are they going to start taking the necessary steps to improve the economic situation here, Zane. Shasta Darlington in Caracas.